Our father lived through the war and survived Came back to the living, came back to find the light He stepped off the train to bring these words I am the strength, I am the love, I am the peace uh, we're here today um, doing The Alliance, and The Alliance is a show uh, about social issues, specifically about child apprehension and the abuse of power uh, from social workers, which seems to be destroying the family unit and the children. The social workers are aware of the alienation issues and the abandonment issues and the development issues that happen later on after the apprehension, but for some reason seem to ignore all of these things when it's proven later on in life that it's destruction. Uh, thank you for coming. Thanks for having me, Terrence. No problem. What's your name? Uh, my name is Velvet Martin and I'm here from the Edmonton area travel down to Calgary, pick up a colleague from Protecting Canadian Children, an organization I'm with, and mm -hmm. um, then we did the drive into the Vancouver area, well, throughout BC. Okay. And why are you here in Vancouver? What's the purpose of this trip? Uh, we were invited as guests of um, an organization, a number of people advocating in the province. Mm -hmm for families who've been wronged by Child Protective Services, uh, MCFD. So Ministry Minister. of Child and Family Destruction, or is it development? One would wonder. <laughs> okay. Maybe, maybe you could give us a little bit of information on, on MCFD for those people that are looking right now and really don't know what MCFD does. Well, MCFD, um, there's a number of acronyms which come across Canada, U.S., Britain. CAS, Children's Services, Human Services in Alberta, what it is is just an umbrella, a realm of a government um, that deals with the protection of children. Mm -hmm. um, and initially, and I think the, the, the background on it is, is positive, I mean it, it's there to um, help families who, uh, who are in circumstances uh, families, we typically look at, if you look at the stigma issue, typically people believe that children's services interfere in families which uh, there are cases of abuse. And, and that can be the case. Mm -hmm. But the majority of persons involved with the ministry are actually people that are just facing extraordinary circumstances. Um, Maybe give us an example of, of the new target, if you want to call it, that of MCFD. No, oh, uh, MCFD initially had been targeting um, people who were, I'm going to say, more yeah. easily targeted. The main reason why we are here is to, um, to deal with re the representation of uh, the old target, which are Aboriginal families, Native families, um, who were easily targeted, a mm -hmm. uh, minority group who... Um, yeah, easily been silenced. Um, now what's happening, more so in this day and age, is uh, we're seeing targeting of a lot of different groups. Doesn't matter, nationality, color, creed, um, even the issue of uh, persons who are wealthy are no longer So there's no, there's no longer a financial, um, what would you call it, line? that no. they cross no no you're you're going to you're going to run into we've run into families anyway we're uh very wealthy families yes uh perhaps for an example a wife who's married into a successful lawyer police officer what have you okay. uh marriage breaks down um there's a lot of influences and it can be quite negative no matter how much money is involved yeah targeting again of uh, the targeting of people not just natives um, but persons with disability has been long running yes we've in the province of Alberta just reached the 40th anniversary free of sterilization of persons now what is this sterilization a little while ago we were talking about uh, sterilization and I I had no clue and I'll tell you the truth I haven't 
looked into it. I've been looking into MCFD themselves and how they operate. But you were telling me about sterilization. You mean making sure that people yes. cannot have children. Absolutely. Which, if inflicted by our government, is genocide. Genocide. Eugenics, yes. Um, y yes, this year in Alberta meets the, marks the 40th anniversary of uh, persons being free of sterilization. There are two women in the province of Alberta who stepped forward to speak, who were successful in um, launching a lawsuit against the, the government mm -hmm. for the wrongs that were done to them. Um, so persons who are considered undesirable, Aboriginal persons, mm -hmm. um, persons with uh, disability, persons who had a history of uh, psychiatric um, difficulties. Yes. All Mental these persons disorders, were, anything. Uh, children that were in foster care. So, for instance, the story of Judy Litton, mm -hmm. uh, one of the women who stepped forward with her story. She was a young girl, um, abandoned, um, so in foster care. When she was approximately 10 years of age, she was told by her caregivers that she was going to have an appendectomy. Okay. And uh, little Judy, at that time, Although she was deemed, um, I, I had asked her why, the, why she believed she was sterilized. She was born premature. She had very crossed eyes at the time. So okay. the appearance made her look as if she was deficit in, in intelligence, which okay. was not the case at all. Yeah. Um, so she argued with the persons and said, no, I, I have a scar. I've already had my appendix out. And they said, they, they said, no, 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 trust us. You need to have this done. So she underwent this surgery. And didn't, she she was in care. She was in care. Okay. So she didn't she didn't actually understand what had happened to her until she grew up. Now she's a married woman. She's been married thirty years to a wonderful man. Mm -hmm. um, when they were a young couple, they, like most people, decided to have children. Found out this wasn't happening, so they looked into medically Why? what was the basis of this. Yeah. And that's when they learned that she had been sterilized. 